a mousse cake into <gasps> an angel food cake. Hey guys, how are you? Good. You're doing well. Jenny, I've got a little joke for you. Let's hear it. So, how many pastry chefs does it take to make a pie? I don't know. <laughs> Approximately 3.14. <laughs> Get it? Pie, 3.14. Oh, I cracked myself up. That's a good one, but we have a riddle for you. Okay. So, we have a recipe for a chocolate raspberry mousse cake, uh -huh. but we want to make something healthier. Uh -huh. So we decided to do angel food cake instead. Good one, okay, okay. In order to do that, we're gonna do a couple of things. Uh -huh. We're gonna look at the standard ratios for an angel food cake. Uh -huh. And we're also gonna look at the baker's percentage. Using baker's percentage, what we know is that flour is the anchor ingredient. Right. We have 110 grams of flour. From there, that'll give us the clues to figure out what the ratios of all the other ingredients should be in order to turn our mousse cake into an angel food cake. Whew. It sounds like I need help. So I'm gonna ask <laughs> math expert at Scholastic, Kim Agan, to help me with this. Hey, Kim, now Diamond has a recipe for chocolate raspberry mousse cake but she wants to make it an angel food cake instead. Now that's a little healthier. So Diamond's recipe calls for 110 grams of flour. Now using the baker's percentage, how much egg whites and sugar should she use? Well, let's see if I can whip up a solution for you. A baker's percentage measures the ratio of the structural ingredients, flour and eggs, against other ingredients like sugar. It tells us the amount of eggs and sugar we need based on the amount of flour we use. Comparing the amount of ingredients is much easier if we use weight in grams to measure them. A baker's percentage always measures the ingredients as parts per 100, with flour as the benchmark 100%. For angel food cake, the baker's percentage is 350% eggs, and 260% sugar for 100% flour. Our original recipe called for 110 grams of flour, so that's 100% of the flour we are using. This is all the information we need to solve this problem. In order to first find the correct amount of eggs, we need to know what 350% of 110 grams is. That's the same as three and a half times 110 grams, which is 385 grams. Now, let's use the proportions in the baker's percentage to find the amount of sugar we need. In an angel food cake, sugar is 260% the weight of the flour. So we need to find 260% of 110 grams. This is the same as multiplying 110 grams by 2.6, which is 286 grams. And so, Diamond, you'll need 385 grams of eggs and 286 grams of sugar to make your angel food cake work, and it sounds heavenly. Thanks, Kim. Well, it sounds like you have a new recipe to work on, and it's a lot healthier, so you have your marching orders. Diamond, are you ready? Yes, I am. 